Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing a whole body workout, a fat burn workout. It is 10 minutes, you don't have to do anything apart from the workout. <laughs> what I mean by that is I'm gonna talk you through it, you can do it along with me, get some water by your side so you can sip as we go, because we're about to get sweaty. This workout is great for your cardiovascular fitness. We're gonna work up a sweat, burn some calories, get stronger and healthier as we go. It only takes 10 minutes, I will put the timer in, I'll explain the moves for you. Just work out right here, right now with me, basically. Um, if you like these kind of videos, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment letting me know what you think and how you found it this one is gonna be a little bit intense okay we're going in we did not come to play don't forget to subscribe for more videos join me on my Instagram and yeah let's get started okay so I'm gonna talk you through each exercise let's go first up is one two three high knee love this exercise get that knee right up really it gets the body nice and warmed up working up a sweat then we are going into ski touch. Now these are like little curtsy lunges, touching just in front of the toe, opposite arm to opposite leg. Yes, work it, feeling like a superhero. Then we're going out to walk out press ups, does what it says on the can. We also have a modified version of this where you can go down onto your knees, do the press up and go back up. Then we've got in and outs. Um, so again, really keeping that good form, getting nice and breathless, getting that knee nice and high. Ready? We're gonna be starting with one, two, three high knees. Let's go. Alternating from leg to leg, I want you to drive that knee all the way up. I like to think of it rhythmically, so just count it out. Go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Really driving that knee through on the three. And also you can think of it as like right angles, so getting that elbow nice and high as you drive the arms. Um, you want to keep a nice bend in the arm. You want to keep your foot nice and cocked, ready to land and jump onto that next high knee. We are Usain Bolt today, okay? We're not messing around. We're getting that agility in, getting that good form in, really holding the core. So I don't want an arch in your lower back. This ain't about whose booty can look the biggest, okay? You want to keep a nice, Firm core as you drive through these one, two, three high knees. Just a few more seconds, well done. One, two, three, and relax for 10 seconds. So we are moving straight into the next exercise. We did not come to play. This is gonna be challenging, but it is going to get you fitter. So hang in there, my loves. Okay, and go with the ski touches. So it's basically like a curtsy lunge. You wanna be coming down onto each opposite leg crossing over the um, back leg behind you and touching down to the toe in front of you. Keeping good form, I'm gonna show you from the side. I don't want your knee falling in front of your toes, okay? So we're still sitting back into that lunge, really reaching out. Just imagine you're like skiing, but like a dramatic superhero kind of ski. I don't ski, so I actually have no idea if this is how you ski, but it kind of looks like that. But yeah, keep going, jumping from leg to leg, getting nice and breathless, keeping that good form feeling that burn in the legs, but staying active with it. You can slow down, but try not to stop. Keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> I used to hate when people would say that, but literally don't forget to breathe. Okay, and rest for 10 seconds because you know it, we're going in with the next one. You can check yourself in the mirror like I just did if you want. <laughs> you good, you good? Yes, let's go with the walkout press up. So we are going in with the walkout press ups. Um, now you can do the modified version of this, which is coming down onto your knees and uh, pushing the body back up um, for like a half press up almost, but it's still just as challenging. You also don't have to keep a straight leg. So I personally like to feel a little bit of a stretch as I walk back up, but you can keep a bend in the legs um, if your flexibility isn't quite there yet or wherever you are, to be honest. This is, you know, no strict rules with this. We're just trying to get a good workout and you will get a good workout simply by pushing yourself to your own individual limits. Um, so yeah, we're getting that upper body stretch in, really lowering the body down, pushing back up, walking it out. And this one's almost, I would say it's a recovery exercise, but I don't want to annoy you if you're still kind of breathless, which I was too. So yeah, relax and catch your breath for 10 seconds. And then we are going in with the fourth exercise. Catch your breath and let's go in and out. 
I love these, I really do. Um, these are a staple hurdling drill, so we're really getting nice and light on the feet, practicing a bit of functional agility, really. What I want you to try and do um, is to keep your body facing forward as your knee goes in front and out and in front, hopping on the other leg. Might take you a little second to get the rhythm, that's okay. Keep at it, keep jumping about in your living room or wherever you are. Um, so bring the knee forward, out to the side and forward. This is a great exercise for hip mobility, and um, again keeping that knee nice and uh, high thinking of your form thinking in right angles foot cock just a few more swapping from leg to leg front out front and switching over well done and relax we're having a slightly longer break here of like I don't know 15 seconds ish because I messed up the timer I do apologize um, but then we're going back in with another set I know you're breathless, I know you're tired, grab a sip if you need, um, but we are going straight in. Let's go, one, two, three, high knees. Wow, what a catchy phrase. I don't even charge for these boys. Okay, let's keep going. Keep the chest nice and high, driving that knee up, thinking good form, breathing through it. Side to side, but not the Ariana Grande type, just you know the good athletic form type. So keeping that knee driving up through, drive with your arms. When you start to get tired, I like to focus on my arms because I don't know, for some reason I find that mentally easier. So as my arms move, it causes my legs to drive through. Keeping that core nice and tight. I don't want an arch in the lower back. Well done, you're doing really well. Just a few more. Can you feel it? Are you breathless yet? Keep going feeling powerful in that movement and that fast toe touch agility and relax you're doing so well I'm really proud of you if you're still hanging in there this ain't easy and we are going in with the second exercise these ski touches really coming down nice and low making sure that the weight of the body goes through the heel of the front leg okay i don't want you bringing that weight too far forward and getting the knee over your toes we have to be doing this in the right way but keep going reaching for the floor keeping your chest up nice and quick with it thinking about that agility being light on your feet you're doing really well keep going coming down into that almost curtsy lunge position I was feeling this burn for a little while afterwards, by the way, in case you're wondering, will I feel this tomorrow? Yes, you, you likely will. And I'm not sorry about that because you're doing really well. Just a few more. Keep going. Really getting that heart rate up and burning those calories and relax. Then we're going in with the third exercise. You can shake it off a bit. Do what you got to do. Grab a drink, you know, stay hydrated. And we are going back in with the walkouts and go again. Don't forget you can do the modified version uh, coming down to your knees. You're still going to get a really good burn and good uh, toning of the upper body as you do this walkout. Really feeling that stretch in the hamstrings as you walk back towards your feet. Keep it nice and balanced. Try and keep your core engaged. I know I'm always going on about core, but if you think about it, the core is a super important part of your body. It links together everything you do upper body wise and lower body wise and is so good for stability and injury prevention so i don't want you overarching your back while you do this especially when you come down into that plank position keep the integrity of the core keep that anterior pelvic tilt and walk through well done just a few more and relax last exercise we are nearly there i am so proud of you hot dang you're killing it Okay, and let's go with the in out. Really getting nice and flexible. Front, out, front, front, out, front. Smash it out, really doing well. Again, try and isolate that leg in the movement. I don't want your body turning, you know, in every direction. I want that upper body facing forward. So shoulders facing forward and just bring out that leg from the ground to a right angle pointing laterally out of your body and really getting that hip mobility working. Drive that knee as high as you can. Like you're a, I don't know, an Irish dancer with, with, with limited skill, but really keen. Nearly there, 10 seconds left of this whole workout. I'm so proud of you. This is, you're doing amazing. You're doing so, so well. Just a few more and relax. Well done, you have completed this super intense 
fat burn workout grab yourself a drink pat yourself on a back on a back on your back you did it you did it i'm proud of you i love you very much i will see you in my next video high five